Climate change is happening now. We are already seeing an increase in the frequency and unpredictability of severe weather events, such as droughts, floods and storms, all of which can kill and weaken trees. If climate change continues as predicted, it's likely that within 50 to 80 years, trees that would once have thrived in the UK could struggle to survive. Given that we would hope for many of the trees we plant today to live considerably longer than 50 to 80 years, it's only right that we carefully consider whether the trees we are planting are suitably adapted to future climatic conditions. But how do we do this when no one knows exactly what those future conditions will be like? The answer lies with diversity. If we plant lots of different tree species, all with greater genetic diversity, then the chances are that our woodlands will survive the climate emergency. Despite all the uncertainty, one thing is clear. We cannot just continue to do the same things we've always done. To succeed, we will need skilled foresters and silviculturalists. Silviculture is the care and cultivation of woodlands to meet a variety of needs, including producing timber. A farmer will grow crops, harvest them, then plant new crops for the following year. Foresters plant trees and help them to grow. Then some of them will be harvested to produce things for our homes, while others are left to grow tall and strong, and then produce seeds for the future. It is widely accepted that planting and growing trees will play an important part in our fight against climate change. To mitigate some of the negative effects of climate change, we need to remove carbon from our atmosphere. Although carbon cycles are incredibly complex, in its simplest form, the idea is quite simple. As trees grow, they remove carbon from the atmosphere and store this in their trunk, branches and leaves. Carbon is locked away in trees until they decompose or are burned. This is true even when a tree dies or when it is cut down. Wood that is grown for fuel removes carbon from the atmosphere. The carbon remains locked away until the fuel is burned, at which point it is released back into the air. In a sustainable system, new trees grow and remove a similar amount of carbon from the atmosphere to that which was released. This creates a cycle where carbon is captured and released in equal measure. So, although this system is infinitely preferable to digging fossil fuels out of the ground to burn, where it would take millions of years to replenish the carbon stores of gas, oil and coal, more clearly needs to be done to remove carbon from the atmosphere and lock it up for the long term. To do this, we need to make greater use of timber in construction where timber would remain as a carbon store in buildings without decomposing or being burned for hundreds of years. The more timber we use in construction, the more timber must be grown for construction, creating a cycle where carbon is absorbed from the atmosphere and locked away for the long term without being re-released. Timber production has the lowest carbon emission of any mainstream building material. By 2050, it's estimated that one-fifth of the carbon released into our atmosphere will come from the production of steel and concrete for the building industry. But wood is a suitable alternative to these materials in many cases. According to Wood for Good, 85% of all new homes in Scotland are built using wood. This is three times more than in England and Wales, a gap which should be closed. As well as making better use of timber as a sustainable resource and planting more trees, we need to better look after the trees and woodlands that we already have. Planting more trees isn't enough to achieve our carbon neutral targets. Existing woods will still represent more than 75% of the total UK woodland cover in 2050. Neglected woodland is more likely to be vulnerable to pests and disease and climate related stress. The rate of climate change is expected to be greater than woodlands can adapt to without human intervention. 
Reaching our UK target of becoming carbon neutral by 2050 will be a huge challenge. What we do know is that we won't achieve this goal without good forestry and silviculture. To find out more about the work of the RFS, please visit our website at www.rfs.org.uk. Thank you for listening.